I did have some um, very terrible experience, I won't even call them bad, mm -hmm. terrible experience where we had a um, landslide, mudslide, um, covering the wall that is existing in the back, and um, even covering part of our fuel tanks. So the cliff and down to fence in the front by the gate was just like one. So we had to have um, uh, um, equipment coming to clear the whole, um, whole dirt and rocks and so forth. Besides that, uh, over the years we had uh, boulders come down and um, disrupt the production of electricity as well. Just recently this year, we had this was the first time ever that we had a very huge boulder. It actually came into the power plant. And then besides that, we have a retaining wall, which um, helps helps a lot. But over the years, the wall get weak from the rocks hitting it, the boulders hitting it all the time, and um, eventually the wall start to break and can't stop the boulders any longer. So that that is when in March month, I think February, March, where the boulder came down and struck our fuel line and um, caused a uh, disruption of um, production of electricity. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, um, we will have to get heavy equipment to um, move the debris every time that this happened. And of course, um, when there's no electricity, it's also impacted the income of um, of, of Suko. Besides the cost of having to get the debris moved, the boulders moved, and also manpower from the different contractors. So of course there are great financial costs to when things like this happen. Um, when things like that happen, we have to um, request the assistance of TTI, um, the oil terminal, that also gives, sells us um, kilowatt hours for a higher cost than what the community 